Oh, what is good, Bulls fans? We are back, and today we are going to be talking a little bit about Marcus Simonovich's future with the Chicago Bulls. And the Bulls really haven't utilized him at all and really haven't used him at, at all. And we haven't really got to see his potential and his improvements throughout the past few years after getting drafted. I believe it was the 40th pick in the 2020 draft. And he's only played 16 NBA games since being drafted into the NBA. And I really think now with Andre Drummond exercising his contract with the Chicago Bulls and opting into that contract, Marcus Simonovich really doesn't have a role on the team now or doesn't have a role with the roster and doesn't really won't really get any more playing time this year because we got our backup center. We got both of our bigs for this year. And Adama Sanago, he's a two-way player. He'll be in the G League. And so will Marcus Simonovich, unless the Bulls do not pick up his $1.8 million contract by July 7th. If they don't pick that up, then he could he could not be on the team anymore. But he mostly really only comes out when the games are uh, blowout games. So when the Bulls are winning by like 20, he'll come in with like two minutes left. So he doesn't really get any like time to show what he can do and like perform very well but let's talk a little bit about what he averaged in the g league because he actually averaged pretty decently in the g league and i think his stats are pretty good in the g league for the windy city bulls but he averaged about 15 points per game about 10 rebounds per game about two assists per game and he shot 52.4 percent from the field and 39.3 percent from the three last year so he he can shoot the three he's almost shooting a 40 percent clip from three and he's a very good rebounder and very efficient um and these averages are all in the g league so it's not the greatest of competition not nba level competition but i wouldn't say that it's not nba level comp competition because some of the guys are from the nba they're just down there because you know who knows why they're down there but yeah he's very efficient and rebounds very well but the bulls really haven't utilized him at all the past few years since getting since he's been drafted and he doesn't have this year he won't get any minutes because of uh Andre Drummond's back and we don't really need a backup center anymore but if something happens to Andre Drummond he gets hurt or something well either Billy Donovan's going to go completely small ball and put in a small ball forward at the three, at the 5 position or it, either Marco will be put in that position Adama Sanago, and you never know. But honestly, I feel like if that ever happened, I feel like Adama Sanago would get those mints. I don't know why, because I feel like the Bulls or Billy would do that. But Marco, you know, we never really got to see him shine that much. And I don't know what his future is looking like with the team. But if they do end up not picking that option up, then... He's going to be gone. He's not going to be a Chicago Bull anymore, so we'll have an open roster spot. We do have four open roster spots to fill so far with a $6 million mid-level exception. And then there's there's something else. I don't remember what it's called. There's four about $4 million to give to a player to, or offer a contract to a player. But if that does happen, we're going to get another spot. He's, uh, you know... I like Marco. I never really got to see him play on the NBA court because I usually only watch the Bulls games. But I never got to. I never really watched the Windy City Bulls games. But I should tune on to the, tune into those. But yeah, Marco Simonovic's future. I'm not sure what's gonna be happening with him. But if the Bulls do not pick up that 1.18 million dollar contract by the July 7th, then Marco might be gone. But that's gonna be all for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and you already know. Hit that sub button and see you at Bulls Nation.